Um, tough to uh, come in and, and uh, you know, talk to your team uh, when uh, we didn't get it done tonight. And I just I told them how proud I am of the way they battled, the way they responded all year long to what we asked of them as coaches. Um, it's one of the closest connected groups in, in the entire NFL. These guys, are, there's real tears in there. There's real guys that expected uh, to really have a chance to, to win a world championship. And, and you got to give the Giants a lot of credit. Uh, just didn't do enough in the end to win the football game. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to take a long, hard look at, at, at uh, you know, every aspect of what we do to make sure we give ourselves the ability to continue to strive uh, to compete at a championship level. And um, that's what we'll begin working on immediately. Defensively, Kevin, did you think this was more of a, a problem of scheme or talent? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, there was... There were some issues uh, with explosive big plays again um, tonight. Um, they, they schematically did some things to, to maybe take advantage of some things we were doing. But across the board, um, you know, we're going to take a, a look at everything. Uh, it's my job. I'm responsible to, for all three phases of our football team. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely take a deep dive into it and, and find a way. Because I, I do think all three phases of our team can improve. Um, and, and individually do their part uh, to try to you know, give ourselves a chance to compete at the highest levels in this league. And um, you know, I, think we're, I think we'll take a look at a lot of things just to see where we can improve and, and be the best version of ourselves. What sort of problems did Daniel Jones using his legs in the first half? Yeah, we, you know, we talked about it throughout the week. Uh, I know I even mentioned it to you guys. We wanted to try to keep him in the pocket. We wanted to try to, you know, get a rush, you know, change the game with some of our playmakers up there, but not let him get out and, and have an impact. He had some impacts on some design runs as well, uh, all of which, you know, does not, uh, you know, break any news to, uh, you know, us in, the, in that locker room or our coaching staff. They just happen to make those plays. And, um, when you play a mobile quarterback like that, that that can make plays with his arm and his leg, and his legs, you you know you just have to have a plan um, to to maximize your chances of limiting those explosive plays. Uh, in addition to some of those crossing routes and things they do um, to to you know generate some of that stuff. Kevin, what they do different with Jefferson than a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, they didn't bring as much pressure tonight. It was more so uh, a story of coverage, double teams. I think, uh, you know, when you look at, you know, his stats, I don't think it's a coincidence. TJ, you know, having a big day. Adam Thielen with three big catches for 50 yards. KJ had some opportunities in addition to the two for 20. Um, you know, ended up with about 50, I think 56, 58 snaps. So you would have loved to have the ball a little bit more to, to be able to run it and marry the run in the pass. And, um, you know, just you know, when we didn't have that success, we, we opened the game with a really nice drive um, and then, you know, end up being stopped a couple times there. And but despite finishing the half with a touchdown drive, you, you just look at the volume of snaps that you end up getting as an offense. Um, and, and, and really, uh, that's where I could help us, you know, try to be better in those short yardage situations, try to be better across the board so, you know, we can go ahead and maximize our opportunities when they could be a little bit more limited because of their ability to control uh, the football. You have said, you have said in so many post game speeches, we'll play until they tell us we have to stop. Yeah. Did you feel like throughout this you were going to come back? And we did. So did this, was it abrupt? How did it feel? Very. Um, very. Uh, even on to that very last drive, you know, you think you have a chance there on that third and um, eight, third and ten call, whatever it was. You think you have a chance, and, and unfortunately, we just, you know, didn't uh, it didn't end up coming down with that one for whatever reason. And, and on that fourth down, just trying to get some eligibles vertical, and and uh, ball ended up, you know, going underneath, and, and we didn't like we had, you know, like we had done multiple times, TJ underneath the coverage for catch conversions. Uh, they just were able to make a play. Uh, but the intent was to try to continue winning the football, having a chance to win the football game with pushing the ball downfield and just didn't open up for Kirk. And, and that's on me. Kevin, was that the conversation after the fourth down there on the sideline when the ball goes underneath? Just talking Yeah, I just, you know, I just wanted to have some dialogue with him and, and you know, I could have done a better job in the moment. Um, you know, he knew it was fourth down, and and he just didn't want. It. He wanted to make sure he put the ball in play. Um, I, I got to go back. I was watching some of the routes down the field to kind of uh, materialize, and and the pocket may or may not have been collapsing on him. And he just wanted to make sure he gave somebody a chance, and and they made a play. Um, had some double coverage to Justin on that drive, and and trying to have KJ come to life, trying to have Adam come to life, 
and uh, you know we'll we'll take a we'll take a long hard look at it. Our two minute offense has been pretty darn good all season, uh, helping us. And and in the end, we didn't get it done on that drive, and uh, it did feel rather abrupt, uh, kind of the way it happened. In a situation like that, interceptions as good as any completion. Would you? Liked uh, a riskier throw there, just so that there was an opportunity. Yeah, the intent when, as a play caller is you're not gonna, you know, call uh, a primary uh, concept where somebody's short of the sticks to gain, um, especially on fourth down. If it's third down and, and you can catch convert and make it a fourth and two or three, um, that's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, you know, looking back on it, you know, maybe could have you know, just been a little bit more. Uh, hey, this is kind of where you want the ball to go, but I want Kirk to be able to play. I want him to be free out there to make good decisions. He did all night long, moved our team, stood in there, you know, getting the ball out of his hand and rhythm. It just so happens that that down, you know, we just didn't get enough on the play regardless. And in the end, uh, I look at that as it's as much, uh, if anything, it's on me and that play call. Um, even though we had eligibles with a, with a chance down the field, maybe um, there's always a play that could be better for your guys out there, and, and that one will stick with me. Kevin, going after, back, after going the, back to the first half or the third and one, the Jefferson yeah. back to Cousins. What was the thinking on that play? Yeah, we thought we had converted. Um, officials marked it past the line to gain, and then uh, and then they ended up making it a third and one. We had had that play up uh, for you know a chance versus man coverage to try to see if we can generate an explosive, and and, and they ended up leaving the uh, corner backside and uh, didn't get the look that uh, ultimately we were hunting and that's part of taking risks. No different than a fake punt, no different than um, some things in that situation. They defended the play well and you got to give them credit. Not a play call that I particularly loved, um, but it's easy to say that when it does not work. Yeah, when you're saying you're looking for an explosive there, is the idea that the explosive comes from Justin hanging out of the ball or is it throwing it back to Kirk? No, it's, it's, it was a design throwback kind of uh, trick, trick style play. You said you would look at everything defensively short of, I think, overhauling the scheme. As yeah. You said. Um, now that you're hitting the offseason, like, is that in play? Do you th are you confident you have the right scheme defensively? Well, Kevin, it's one of those things that's, you know, when speaking of the abrupt ending of tonight, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little kind of uh, fresh to be in that mode right now. Um, but offensively, defensively, and special teams, we're going to take a look at our entire football team, personnel, schematics. Um, how we coached, uh, what things we could do better uh, to help put our players in positions to have success, uh, help put the personnel that we have in positions to have success, uh, and it'll be an entire, uh, you know, an, an entire part of what this job's all about is being critical, having the ability to evaluate your football team and, and what the intent was, and then being able to make adjustments to try to better uh, what, what you are as a team. So that's what I'll do starting, really starting tomorrow. You listed a, a bunch of ways to evaluate the defense. Is one of the things that's potentially on the table who's coaching the defense? I, I the, like, like we talked about, man. I just um, I think Ed tried to do the best he could uh, in, in this year across the board, installing the defense and the scheme that we had kind of manifested together and, and, and hoped that it would come to life. And uh, I, he worked his absolute tail off and, and, and his commitment to trying to make some adjustments and improve. Uh, was there each and every week, all season long. So um, I'm going to look uh, at every aspect, special teams, offense, defense, personnel with, with Quace all across the board, how we can improve schematically. Uh, you know, all those things are, are for really a different time and, and, and different conversations once we've had a chance to kind of collect ourselves and, and evaluate what took place this year. Last few questions. Kevin, I know you've worked with Kirk before, but being here coaching him as a head coach, was there anything that you learned about him throughout the season and going forward that maybe you build on? Yeah, he's grown tremendously from previously when I when I worked with him in 17. Um, he is a competitor. He's tough. He's incredibly durable. Uh, threw the ball at a very high level all season long. Made game-winning plays for us all season long when we had to have him. Um, I thought he, you know, competed each and every week to put our offense in a position uh, to have success, and, and he was always the, you know, our, our our leader each and every week when things even didn't go our way. Uh, that guy was out in front, ready to go back to work, and and he was one of the reasons why I do believe we didn't lose two games in a row. We responded to adversity, and and, and he's a heck of a leader for us, uh, much beyond just being our our quarterback and our leader on the offensive side, really for our whole football team. Your Kevin, first year as head coach, you win 13 games, season ends with a home playoff loss. Does that feel like a success to you? You know, I, I don't really. It's 
it's a little too soon to kind of go into true evaluation mode. I just know our team wanted very, very badly. We had a great week of prep and, and wanted very badly to win this game. And um, for it to be a one-score game with a chance to go try to tie that game up, it's going to sting us uh, for a long time. And uh, this team was as competitive as any group of, as I've been around from a standpoint of each and every time they took the field with the expectation to win. It did not always go our way. Um, but these guys battled for, like you said, 13 wins. And I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, things that I'm very, very fortunate and excited about uh, moving forward with this team currently and, and where we can take it from here. Evan, you talked a lot, even after victories, about needing to improve on a lot of things, even after wins. Do you still feel like you were chasing like that four-quarter performance and, and never got it? Um, yeah, I, I think we're always going to be trying to improve and, and doing and, and, and the biggest thing is just understanding what I mean by that is all three phases at the same time playing well. It's not directly, a, you know, an offensive or a defensive or a special teams thing. It's can we be as a football team uh, truly in phase uh, with each other and, and playing off of the success of the other group, capitalizing momentum and being able to um, you know, expand on that as a football team and understand what that feels like for us moving forward. So uh, any team in this league uh, that doesn't finish in Arizona holding the trophy is going to feel like they've got to improve. And uh, I sure know that uh, that's going to be uh, the main goal, regardless of tonight's outcome. It's going to be about uh, improving our football team, me personally getting better for our guys and our coaches. And um, I feel like I've learned a lot this year. And I feel like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for uh, what's out in front of us because of the type of leadership I get to work with, uh, the leadership on our team, and, and what we have here to build upon the 13 wins that we were able to get this year. Thanks, everyone. Thanks guys.